So what were you thinking for Wolves? I've always wanted to get writing go if everyone's called that. Well, I did some stuff in high school on camera, so I can do DV. I'll, I'll be editor there. I'll be... Like Charlie Chaplin, that sort of thing. But a bit shit. But hopefully not shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I had the exact same idea. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, like a silent comedy. I think that would work. <laughs> okay, uh... Okay, uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, but here's what I was thinking. Alfred Hitchcock. Oliver to go, but on acid. We're getting somewhere to hit. Are you writing this down? Come on, you, you're a writer. Um, so if we invert the fourth wall, we can reimagine the dimension from which we shape the film. You guys know about narrative, okay? You might not be quite advanced on it as I am, but the point being, we can invert the narrative through the theatrical elements that we engage with in the inverted dimension. I'll catch you guys up, because you might not know the lingo quite as well, but essentially we begin as neo-noir, and then we reinvert the angle to change the theme allowing them to question what it really is to be an element of the human condition. Are you writing this down? The part about the human condition or the fourth wall. Either way, I don't think Hitchcock is known for his comedy. So maybe we should just get back to the original topic. So we have comedy expert over here. We got Amy Schumer, who also isn't funny, by the way. Hey. It's back to task. I've never really written a silent film before, but I've got some vague ideas that I think could really work. Yeah. Go back old, old school, you know, okay. black and white. Guys, I'm going to say this now because I feel it's my responsibility as director. Guys, we cannot afford to laugh at each other's ideas, okay? It's going to ruin our attempt at this project and it's going to cause the whole thing to derail. Hmm. <sighs> Glad you put us back on track. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if we're not going to take this seriously, then this whole thing is an entire waste of my time, all right? Meeting adjourned. All right. Let's do this. Oh, you made it. Oh, yeah, I think. How are you going? I'm going. Um, look, I almost finished up all the script. Probably about three or four days a week. Okay. This place is like a, a second home. You know, I stopped going to those indoor places a while ago because they really, they take the soul out of the spot. Oh, uh, yeah, neat place. Uh, look, are you almost done up with the script here? What is that? The script is why I'm here. Okay. Jesus. There's no need to go all PMS on me. Just throw it up here. Any notes? Wait, can it be funnier? It's not awful. Hey, get a shot of this in the group chat. Right? Come down there. Stop kicking around. Okay, but it's good. It is good to have fun, I mean. Like when you're stressed out and you're working on a project like this. And I always found that for my teachers. Hey, you mind getting a binder out of my bag there? It's got some of my thoughts in. Page 53. Here are some of my ideas. Try and keep up. You're a small girl in a forest, but you're not that innocent. You're you're kind of sexy and you're very French and you have a cigarette in your mouth and there's a teddy bear next to you. And this teddy bear, he represents the innocence. And then we go to a hospital and the baby's crying. It's screaming, but there's no one there. So you wonder, is the baby really screaming if it's falling upon deaf ears? And then finally, we move to this small Amish community and they're desperately trying to churn butter. But all the while they realize Maybe it's not butter they were churning at all. Maybe it's their own feelings. We're meant to be writing comedy. 
What does N give us to do? If you could just have those changes done for me by 4.30, that'd be fair. 4.30? No, no. It's 3 o'clock right now. I've got an hour long journey to get home. It won't be done by 4.30. Well, have it done by 5. Then. Read that. What is this? A few minor changes. Are we set up? A few minor changes? This is an ADP coverage. Jeez. So Not even just shot think coverage. Not a shot list in here. Where's my act up? Has she ever acted before? No. Nah. Oh, why do we have her? Who do you want me to get? I'm a uni student. We have nothing to offer actors. You had one job. Okay. Da, da, da. Now up, up. Follow along. I want long brooding shots. I really want that distance so we can build tension over time. And I want there to be kind of distance between us. And so the subject is here, but the camera is pushed further back, really. So we're just kind of pushing it so it's far, really, really far away. And that way we can build it over time. It's obviously going to be in black and white, but when like a tight four by three aspect ratio should feel really, really centered in and claustrophobic. Like you're struggling to breathe. Like as an audience member there, you're just, you're just suffocating under the intensity of the angle and it just gets to the point. Have you seen the lighthouse? Yes, I've seen the fucking lighthouse. What do you want me to do? I don't have a shot list. I don't know what to film. This fucking crew is killing me. All right, places everyone. Ready? Action. meeting till like nine. When I get a head start. How long have you been here? <laughs> How long? I haven't left. You slept here. Slept? <laughs> you think I've been sleeping? There's no time to sleep. But were we basically finished? I made some changes. <laughs> that other thing we were gonna do wasn't gonna work. Changes? What changes? Edgar Wright. Edgar fucking Wright. Pace, energy, movement. Rhythm to everything we're fucking missing. This is the complete opposite of what we filmed yesterday. How much have you changed? It wasn't testing well. Audiences just aren't connecting with you. Audiences? What fucking audiences? I've added a heart to that. Okay. Well, it's got rhythm and it's got tempo. And so people are actually going to be able to pay attention and see what's going on. And not just fucking fall asleep. Holy shit, this is a completely different movie. Why didn't you let me help you? That's my job. But you weren't here, so I had to finish it all myself, as fucking usual. It was 3am, what did you want me to do? I thought you to be proactive, take some initiative, get it done. You're not going to survive in the industry, just keep doing shit like this. You need commitment. This is insane. Give me that. <laughs> What was that? Oh, what the fuck? Please tell me that's not what I think it is. This is ridiculous. This is a uni assignment. Oh, so just going now. I don't know how you're doing that. You got your hands on the keyboard tube. Yep, obviously. Um, all right. So it looks like you've got this under control. I'm just gonna wait. You mind, uh, you mind emptying this? It's full.
Lovely stuff from six. I like it. Thought it was pretty good. <clears throat> now group seven. Thank <laughs> you.